Hey guys, welcome back to Stockman Closet. For today's project, I have taken cotton ajrak fabric. Small print is 2.5 meter and floral print is 1.5 meter. For bodies, I'll be adding lining. So I have taken 1 meter of lining. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut out the bodies on the lining fabric. Length is 17 inch including 1 inch of seam allowance and I have folded the fabric by half in width and by half in length so here I have 4 layers of fabric now I'll mark the measurements in my measurement shoulder width is 14.5 inch so half of it will be 7.25 inch neck width is 3 inch Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round. In my measurement, armhole is 14.5 inch. Half of it will be 7.25 inch. I am deducting half inch because this is sleeveless dress. Extend these points. From the top, mark a point at 11 inch. Shoulder to burst measurement and 15.5 inch body's length now i'll mark the round measurement for chest i'm adding 2 inch of ease in my measurement chest round is 34 inch 34 plus 2 is 36 and dividing it by 4 i'll get 9 inch for burst i'm adding 3 inch of ease in my measurement burst round is 36 inch 36 plus 3 is 39 and dividing it by 4 i'll get 9.75 inch for waist again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement waist round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch. Join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. And I'll add around 1 inch of seam allowance. Now for front armhole curve. Mark half inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. With this marking is complete. Now I'll cut out the bodies. So I've cut out the bodies on the lining. Now I'll cut it on the main fabric. So this is the main fabric for the bodies. I have folded the fabric by half in width. So here I have two layers of fabric. Now I'll fold the fabric again by half in width. And now I'll place the bodies like this and I'll cut it out. So I've cut bodies on both lining and main fabric. Now I'll cut out the neckline. Neck width is 3 inch. Neck depth is 7 inch adding half inch for seam allowance. So I'll mark a point at 7.5 inch. Again mark neck width point 3 inch and join these points. Again mark a point at 6.5 inch. Now I'll draw neckline shape round with small V cut. You can make any desired neckline shape. So this was the front neckline. Now for back I'm making round shape neckline. Neck width is same 3 inch. Neck depth is 6.5 inch. I've added half inch for seam allowance. So I've cut both front and back neckline. With this body cutting is complete. Now I'll cut the bottom. For bottom I'm making 3 tier skirt. In my measurement full length of dress is 50 inch. Body's length is 16 inch. So skirt length will be 50 minus 16. That is 34 inch. I have divided 34 into 3 layers. First and second layer are 10 inch in length. And last third layer is 14 inch in length. It's your choice. You can take equal lengths for all layers or you can make variations. Now I'll show you how to cut layers. I have folded the fabric by half in width. So here I have two layers of fabric. 
firstly i'll mark the length that is 10 inch for first year i'll add 1 inch for seam allowance so i'll mark a point at 11 inch extend this point and cut it out so i have cut out one layer 11 inch in length and i have taken whole width of fabric now again i'll mark a point at 11 inch and i'll cut out another layer for tier 1 i'll be using these two layers for tier 2 i'll be using three layers and for third tier i'm using this floral print fabric and i'll cut four layers of fabric for last year it's your choice you can change length of tiers as well as width of tiers depending on how much gathers or volume you want in your dress or skirt so with this cutting of dress is complete now i'll stitch it firstly i'll finish the bodies and for that join front and back bodies right sides together and stitch shoulder slope on both sides similarly join front and back bodies on the lining right sides together and stitch shoulder slope on both sides so i stitch shoulder slopes now join main fabric and lining right sides together like this and make a stitch on the neckline shape i have pinned up the neckline and now i'll make a stitch So I made a stitch. Now I'll make small cuts all around the neckline. And I'll turn the bodies inside out like this. So I've stitched the neckline. Now to finish the armhole, roll the entire bodies towards the other armhole like this flip the lining under the roll bodies to meet the main fabric now align main fabric and lining armholes right sides together i have pinned up the armhole and now i'll make a stitch So I made a stitch and this is how it looks. I'll just make small cut on the curved shape and I'll pull out the bodies inside out like this. So I finished one armhole. Now similarly I'll finish the other side. Similarly roll the entire bodies towards the other armhole. Flip the lining, join armholes and make a stitch. So I've stitched it. Now again pull the bodies inside out and with this bodies is ready. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam. So I finished the bodies. Now I'll finish the bottom. For bottom firstly i'll attach all the layers for each tier and then on the top of each tier i'll make basting stitch to add gathers for tier one i'll be adding two layers so join both layers right sides together and make a stitch so i made a stitch and this is how it will look keep the seam open and now i'll make a basting stitch and for that select the highest stitch length on your sewing machine and make a straight stitch
so I made basting stitch now pull bobbin thread to add gathers and adjust gathers according to the body's waist now I'll attach tier 1 with the bodies and for that join both pieces right sides together I'll pin it up and then I'll make a stitch all around the waist. So I've attached first tier with the bodies. Now I'll attach second tier. I've already made basting stitch on the second tier and I'll adjust gathers on the second tier with the bottom of the first tier. So as you can see match bottom of the first layer with the top of the second layer. Join second tier with the first tier right sides together. I have pinned it up. Now I'll make a stitch. So I have attached second tier as well. Now for last tier, I'll make basting stitch on one side and on the bottom side, I'll make finishing seam. And for that, double fold the seam allowance like this and make a stitch on the inner edge to secure it. So I finished the bottom round. Now on the top side I'll make basting stitch to add gathers. So I made a basting stitch. Now I'll adjust gathers on third tier with the bottom of the second tier and I'll join both pieces together as I did for the first and second tier. So I've attached second and third tier and this is how it will look. With this my tier dress is ready and this is how it looks. It's a beautiful pattern. I really love it. And you can make lots of variations by adding more or less tiers or by mixing prints or by adding contrast color fabric so i hope you like this pattern and if you tried do share your creation with me on social media and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section i'll get back to you so thanks for watching guys hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos and i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye